Welcome back everybody, this is Daniel with Champion Industries. And so in, in our learning series today, instead of just talking about equipment, what we wanted to focus on is really understanding dishwasher temperatures and everything that goes into that world. Uh, in light of this recent COVID-19 pandemic, we have seen everybody become hyper aware of cleanliness and sanitization. And when this relates to our industry, the food service industry, uh, we see one of the best assets in the kitchen to fight the spread of foodborne illness and bacteria and viruses, uh, being a properly operating uh, commercial dishwasher. So we're gonna understand everything to do with temperatures, the procedures, the instruments we use, uh, all in today's video. So join us for this ride. We're gonna get started right now. So first up, let's talk about our chemical sanitizing machines. So next to me, I have here one of the Champion UL-130. This is our low temp chemical sanitizing uh, offering in our undercounter category. And so taking a look at the data plate on this machine, which is the best thing to refer to anytime you're unsure about what temperature a machine is supposed to operate at, looking at the data plate on this machine, it tells us per NSF guidelines that this machine needs to wash and rinse at a minimum of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So in this machine right here, and also on that data plate that says when using chlorine solution as the sanitizer. Next up, let's cover our glass washers. So NSF gives us a special provision for dedicated glass washers like these models I have right here. But they operate very similarly to a, on a low temperature under counter or door machine where they wash at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. If we're using a chlorine based solution sanitizer, uh, as our final rinse on these machines, our final rinse temperature has to meet a minimum requirement of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So next up in our temperature adventure here, we get into the most exciting category, which is high temp dishwashers. So this next NSF listing would be for what they call stationary dual temp dishwashers. What does this all mean? break it down. So stationary rack refers to things like an under counter dishwasher or a door style or upright dishwasher, right? The rack is not moving inside the machine. It's stationary. It wash one rack at a time. You open the door, whether it's this one or the under counter, you pull the rack out, you put the next one in, you do that one. Easy enough. So the other side of that dual temperature. So in high temp dish machines, we wash at one temperature and then move on to a final rinse, usually a higher temperature, and then we do the final rinse with that. Ultimately, what we are after is achieving a 160 degree final surface temperature on whatever the wear is that we are washing. That's how we achieve uh, sanitization in a high temp machine. So in this category of stationary rack dual temp machines, we wash at 150 degrees minimum, and then we rinse at 180 degrees minimum. So that uh, allows us that time to wash, 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 get off all that dirt, anything on, on those plates, glasses, silverware, whatever it may be. And then we go into the final rinse where we clean all that stuff off and we build up more heat, ultimately achieving that 160 degree final surface temperature. Our next NSF listing calls out single tank conveyor machines in the high temp category. Here to help me, I've got our beautiful champion uh, 44 Pro VHR to come along and help for this. And because this has a single tank on it and it's a conveyor style machine in the high temp category, we need to wash at a minimum of 160 degrees Fahrenheit and rinse at a final rinse temperature of a minimum of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, Little tidbit for the pros out there. If this machine right here, if we added on a 22 inch or a 36 inch pre-wash, that is not considered a tank by NSF. So even though it has a pre-wash, it is still considered a single tank conveyor, which means we still have to run at that 160 degrees wash, unlike our multiple tank. And we'll get into that in just a moment. So the last category we have to cover from NSF is what they call multiple tank conveyors. Now this applies to uh, rack conveyor style machines with multiple tanks or flight style machines, flight type machines. And because uh, we call them multiple tank, what we're referring to is you have a wash tank and then a powered 
or pumped or sometimes called auxiliary rinse tank. Because this is heated, it's truly considered a tank. So the temperatures we need to keep up with on these are for wash is a minimum of 150 degrees uh, Fahrenheit minimum. And then our auxiliary power pumped rinse, that needs to be a minimum of 160 degrees. And then of course, we're onto our final rinse, that magic 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So that covered all the different classifications that NSF has for commercial dishwashers. We know there's a few to pick from. Uh, this nice little chart right here can be found on the NSF website in case you ever need to refer back to that. Uh, again, we just wanted to share this with you so you can help to be the guiding light, whether it's a chef or a, uh, some other end operator or maybe even a health and safety inspector uh, that just needs to be able to refer back to this. Again, we want you to be the voice of reason and have all the resources. Uh, tune in here in just a moment. We'll cover our different types of thermometers and the best ways to check these different temperatures.